Howdy there, my chim champs. Welcome back to One Great Manga War. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day today. And um, today, we'll be going over Viz 3 and ones versus their single volumes. Who will win the fight? Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so you may be asking yourself, what is the difference between these two volumes? You've probably seen these at your local bookstore, and you may be curious which one to get, because you'll be like, over here, their MSRP on the 3 and ones is only 15 American dollars, which is not bad for Americans, um, compared to the one piece... <laughs> Compared to the single volumes, ten dollars, it is an absolute steal. For three volumes, you are paying half the price you would be for a single volume. So then, why wouldn't you just buy the three in one then? Obviously, right? Well, there are some pro there are some problems with this. If you look at the covers, this is where volume twenty four's whole cover is. This is where volume twenty four on the three in one is. Look at this. It's just Luffy. Where the where the heck is the rest of it? Um, I know for a lot of people, this really bugs them, especially with the One Piece ones. This is worse than the One Piece ones, in my opinion. They only show partials of the cover, and the covers are usually very gorgeous and very filled to the brim with content. And it's like you look and you can look at it for several minutes at a time, just finding new stuff in it. Um, and with the three in ones, you really don't get that. Another thing the three in ones have a problem with is paper quality. Now, for me, this does not even bother me one bit. But compared to the um, other ones, the to the vizs uh, singles, it's a lot thinner. If I can get a, if you get really close with the light bulb, I don't know if it's going to show off on camera, but you could see through the page. Now, honestly. I really don't care about this. The paper quality is perfectly fine, and I have never had a problem with being able to see through the pages. Um, especially for One Piece. I have not had a problem with them. Um, the One Piece single has a lot thicker paper, um, and it's I have not been able to see through these pages. Um, if I had to say something uh, to the quality of this type of quality it's not as bad as newspaper but it feels like newspaper if that makes sense um, but it's not bad though it's not bad at all this is perfectly usable as a book and if you could tell I have a crap ton of three in ones so I have no problem with the paper quality um, another thing that people uh, may complain about is the thickness of the book. This is one of my major problems with it, but again, it does not bother me in the slightest uh, most of the time. Is This is a very thin book, as you can tell. This is a One Piece book, normal size. Right there. Let me see if I can get a better camera. Right there, right? This is a 3-in-1. It is a lot bigger. The binding on this, though, is a lot weaker than the other one like I could I have to like it's a lot stretchier and it's a lot harder to hold because of how much bigger it is um so that may also come into a factor if you want to buy either one but besides that there really isn't that much difference between the two you're getting three volumes for $15 those are minuscule and in, on some three in ones for example, my boy Bleach here, the whole cover problem is non-existent. They take one of the covers and they put it on the front, and then on the back, you have a full cover, you have the full cover on the back. Um, that's mainly because of Bleach's way of doing covers, but the problems with the three and ones not showing the full covers is non-existent for that series. In conclusion, which one? If I saw both of these at the market, and I was like, I have to purchase one, which one 
in my opinion, would should you buy the three in ones? <laughs> all right, I know, I know. Okay, I know. Why would you buy the three in ones after all the negatives I've said? And it's very simple. This is fifteen dollars. I am shocked that people don't buy them more often. Um, buy the three in ones. They are so much cheaper than the than the singles. So, for example, One Piece, if you were to buy every single volume right now at MSRP, it would be $950, I believe? Which is insane. But, if, hypothetically, if all of them were already in 3-in-1s, and we're saying that each of the 3-in-1s are out, and it, there's magically one that adds up to 94 okay? You'd be paying four hundred and seventy-five dollars. Four hundred and seventy-five dollars compared to nine hundred and fifty. These are looking mighty appetizing right now, <laughs> aren't they? But um, yeah, I would suggest. In conclusion, I believe the three in ones are superior to the singles due to the price. If you could find a three in one and they have a single in stock and you have to choose between one i would suggest the three in one the three in ones have little to no drawbacks compared to the um singles and the drawbacks they do have are barely hinder your experience and are not worth spending an extra 15 dollars trying to get up to but if you do have money, if you do have money, like you you are like have absolute crud ton of money. Then get the singles. Um get the singles if you have the money. If you're broke, like myself, then get the uh three in ones. So without further ado guys, thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day, my chimp champs, and get out there and read some manga, my friends.